Up a lazy river where the old mill ran Meets the lazy river in the noonday sun Linger in the shade of What's happening? Welcome to the channel. My name is Yvonne the Golden, and today we'll be watching Bob's Burgers, Season 14, Episode 9, Fraud of the Dead Zombie Documentary. Um, I really fuck with zombie movies. If this is going to be about zombies, I really fuck with zombie movies. I've seen a lot of them. Um, one of my favorites is Night of the Living Dead. The OG one, you know, with Sydney Poitier. Uh, yeah, I feel like that was a real good basic zombie movies of, hey, motherfuckers is turning. I got motherfuckers turning in the crib with me. I got to get rid of them. It's one shotgun. It's one crib. It's zombies outside. I'm surrounded. That's how you do zombies. Like, that's the basic format of zombies and some movies haven't touched that since. Um, but it's still been some pretty good zombie movies like Zombie Land. I really fuck with Zombie Land and World War Z. That was a good zombie movie. And of course, everybody know I fuck with The Walking Dead. Pretty good zombie show. But let's see how zombies is going to be in the Boss Burgers universe. Um, well, I think this family survived. A zombie apocalypse. Fuck no. The only one that may be alive is probably Louise and Bob. If they drop everybody else like a bad habit, like you gotta leave behind the weak, the weak links. Tina's gonna freeze up. She's gonna stop saying, uh, if she see a big ass for Jane, Jane is useless. Linda. She has too many wild, crazy ideas that's going to get the group in trouble and in sticky situations. And yeah, we don't need that no zombie apocalypse. But let's stop wasting time and just go ahead and get into this episode. Louise Belcher. Badass. The legend, the fourth grader, and just possibly the best archer in the world. Hawkeye, oh, shorty. Base, Millions of views on target to become the most famous archer on the planet. In her most watched video by far, she performs this. Hey, why are these doing numbers? Hold on. Oh, wow. But for many oh, of wow. us, <laughs> the, <laughs> talent, the question remains who is Louise Belcher and how is she so good? Which is actually two questions. Um, just a girl whose family runs a weird smelling burger restaurant. Yeah, I'm getting that. Spend the hole in the wall. But it's not on purpose. That's the so funeral yeah, home. Even though now I'm famous and people every mustard, I don't mind the ketchup, but I'm not a mustard person. And I don't respect people who are. So, Me too. That shit anyway, fucking stink, man. How'd you get into it? My mom and dad. I think it's fun. I like a little indoor restaurant archery. That's our thing now. And Berg is also Berg. Mm. So how long? <laughs> you... Archery show <laughs> slash burger spot? Hey, you got some bad ideas, Bob. Well. Well. Wait, Gina, that one. That's for the documentary about this documentary. Everyone's doing those now. It's called a double doc. Or a docket. I released my rock opera podcast about the making of this doc. I was like, who's doing the James my documentary? Regular size room? Also, my arm is feeling kind of creaky today. I uh, heard it doing homework last night. I should probably cut that out. No. Yep, yep, uh huh. No problem. It's a documentary, not a free <laughs> show. <laughs> Louise trying to make them pay that chatter. <laughs> oh my god. We're closed, Teddy. Does he look weird to you? Much what the? Than usual. What? Teddy, we're closed. We're closed. Well, he has to leave. He won't like it. I don't know if he knows there's other restaurants. Basically. What's wrong with him? Nigga, eat a burger so every day. Wrong. Like, how's your life, sir? Earlier, but... oh, oh, my God. Ah, Teddy, what are you doing? Stop eating more. Oh, my God. Bob, get the knife. Get the ketchup. 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 Get Doing the documentary about me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Louise, get that pose and look off your face. Yeah. You're talking in the family. I picked you, with Louise. I picked you to survive the zombie apocalypse. Should I keep rolling? Yes, keep rolling, but don't get eaten. But if you do get eaten, you know, try to keep rolling safely. Sounds good. Okay, fine, but we don't know what's going on there. This might not even be like this glass. Why ain't y'all freaking out more? It's pretty thick, right? 
my god. Oh, why did you Tina. teach them Tina? Ooh, that beat's fun. Jane, I always worry about the beat, man. This ain't time for music, Jane. Oh my god, this is a real ass zombie apocalypse. What's going on? I'd be so mad if my father's pranking us. That seems like an affair, Katie. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, say Rudy! Amy, I'm Rudy, say Rudy! Oh my god! Get a frying pan if the zombies are paying them. Yeah, Linda, whoop they ass. Go like oh. Then Linda! <laughs> Get your ass in the house! Holy crap, who is that? That's our brother. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. He's a zombie now. He sure is. We're giving Dad's new favorite. That's it. I forgot she got a zombie fetish. Damn. Speaking out. I don't want to die. Oh my god. I'm in a restaurant, Ruby. My mom and dad are making all of us burgers right now. Oh, hi. Hi. Okay, I'm cool. I'm I don't cool. think I should be wasting uh, so many ingredients so fast. Oh my god. Maybe some slices of cheese the first day. <laughs> no, you start with the vegetables. That go bad first. No, may I start with the meat? Cause I don't know how long we got electricity. You gotta start with the meat first. Okay, bro. Damn! Fuck the zombie apocalypse. Go upstairs. Oh, they can't go upstairs. They gotta go outside. Go outside. Oh my god. Rudy and the Ollie come with me. Yay! Wow, you're eating. We like going places. <laughs> I get it. Gene, go with us. This is a zombie apocalypse. Why y'all just enthusiastic? Katie, what's wrong? Is your zombie bite acting up? Zombie bite? Did you say zombie bite? I said construction site injury. That's what. No, no. Sounded like you said zombie. Put his ass bite. down, Louise. <gasps> oh crap! Oh, 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 Is that a, a fun nickname? Because you think I'm smart? Right. Run! Oh my god, why did you get bit with your brother? With a pointy stick so you can shoot really fast through the air? That would be helpful. Louise, you can do train shots. Why did you freeze them now? No, Louise! I'll meet you up there, okay, Louise? <laughs> oh my god, they better die. No Bob and Linda, no. See you guys up there. Yep. Uh -huh. Hey, watch it. Linda, what do you got in your room? Y'all you always telling the kids to stay out of there. Do you know how to lower the ladder? Of course I do. Do you know how many fires we've had in our house? A lot. Good for you. Oh my god, damn. What y'all doing in there? <laughs> oh, no, Linda! Oh, 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 Linda
that it's this way, which I've never tried before. Thank you. Sure. She I used that bitch like a ballista? How many mustard arrows are we allowed to eat? None. Copy that. How are you going to eat a mustard arrow, Jane? Linda, Bob. Linda, Bob, Jean. Oh my god, I got dummies fouled up. Safe? Oh no. My parents. There's still a few couples. You only have one in <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey. One. For two. Two for one. I have one to say. Get the arrows out. Better than we did before. I'm gonna draw them away from here. And I can't. And what my incredible vision for telling the story was. And hopefully it's not. The documentary is not about you, Tana. Yeah. Wow, that was great. Basically. Pretty dark. Yeah, but so <laughs> good. It's not done. What? Mustard all over us. They don't want to eat us because of the mustard. I don't have it all over me. You have a little. Um, it's everywhere, Jane. We go down. To we saved the world. We do. I have a thing to do later, but okay. <laughs> Louise. <laughs> I think all those plants no, are canceled. Did we cover ourselves with chickens that day and see if the zombies ate that too? What if we just get you some chickens that day? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think y'all should have stuck with the original ending, but all right. I'm so proud of my little writer, director, producer, stunt coordinator. Sorry, Lee. I still have mustard in my ear. Maybe that was from before. Also, it yeah. was really nice of us to take apart the entire restaurant for your barricades. How was that before? Uh, like, what y'all be doing with that mustard now? That's fine. I think it's and we're having the cast and crew screening tomorrow at the restaurant with free burgers, right, Dad? Wait, what? Hmm? Your contract. That was one of my favorite episodes this season. Um, I never knew I needed a Belchers a zombie apocalypse. Of course, it's just goofy as hell. Um, I don't know why mustard is zombie weakness. <laughs> And what is Linda and Bob doing with that mustard that she said that she may have had mustard on her in her ear before they even started filming? Might be doing some kinky stuff with that mustard. But in the why she say kids never go in her room. Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, this is a real good mockumentary zombie movie. The kids are always so talented. They be showing they got hella skills when it comes to creativity, music, filming, you name it. They even had an episode where all three of them was doing plays or spoken words and stuff like that. Like, come on now. They got it in them. Artists, they, it's their core. Um... Andy and Ollie really caused the fucking chain events to go bad in that restaurant. That's why I, I'm sorry. It was my friend and the family. Once you ain't inside this barricade, you ain't getting there. Hey, you getting chased by zombies. You talking about let you in? No, no, I can't do it. It's an apocalypse. We got we got to do apocalypse rules. It's the apocalypse. I think the best actor in the documentary zombie movie film was Louise, because you she put real life into the film into the art, and which is when you always get the best product. Um, she really used something that she couldn't do. I thought she was going to be good at archery. I thought that stuff was real at the beginning. Something about she was getting millions of views off trick shots, but I knew it was something up to it when they never actually showed her fire in the thing. But I'm glad at the end she found out some type of way to use it as a ballista. Ballista, I think I'm, I think I'm saying that right. But y'all probably seen them on Game of Thrones. Them scorpions that were shooting down the dragons. People actually used those in real life. A long time ago in medieval wars. It was basically for the ramparts and stuff like that. And yeah. Louise got dirty with that motherfucker. 
other than that, real good episode. My favorite episode of the season. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember to like and subscribe. When it's a bright new morning, we can loaf along blue skies above. And everyone's in love up a lazy 